pains me to say it. But I am selling my round heads. Maybe not these sexy 12s, but definitely my heavier ones. And let me tell you why. But Dan, you love vintage weights. I do love vintage weights. I even love my vintage round head dumbbells to look at. But unlike 80% of the home gym community, I actually lift fucking weights. I actually train. I actually compete. And if you're one of those out there that, that do in the solitary of your garage and then go out there and actually do stuff, congratulations. If you're just some collector, keep your round heads. They're beautiful. Love them. Cherish them. Post pictures of them. But if you got the big ones, I doubt you train with them hardly ever. So let me back up. I love vintage weights because it's just cool to be like, man, there's history behind this one. Uh, one of the pairs I'm missing is a, a pair of 80 pound round head dumbbells. And I was getting ready to secure the pair. I'm going out in June to compete in North Carolina. And on my way through Charlotte, I was going to pick up the, a pair of 65s and a pair of 80s. Um, and the dude was talking to me about kind of their history and you know, who knows if he's just making up stories or not, but I like to believe it's true and there's a good chance it is. Uh, he said the pair of 80s he has is actually from a guy. They've only had one owner. He bought them new. He was in the Navy and he took them on board like the ship or the submarine or whatever he was on. And those suckers have been all over the world on the water. And that's a super cool story. And it's stuff like that that I love about vintage weights in general. Just like the history of it. Like the, the thought of how many people lifted on this before you. Where, where, where were these plates? Where were these dumbbells back in the day? Um, is a cool thing. Uh, strength history is something I'm very passionate about and I love researching. So, like anyone in that situation, I started investing in round heads. I got my first pair of 40s. They're blues, which is kind of cool. They they only they made those to sell in department stores, uh, but didn't do it for very long, so that they're a little more rare. So they have kind of like this weird turquoise metallic blue tinge to them. And I got some, and it's cool. And they're a pair of 40s. They're the first vintage dumbbells I got. I got them the same time I got my very first vintage plate, which was a single Billard Deep Dish 45. I still have that plate. I'm looking at it right now. It is beautiful. Um, and man, roundheads do look cool. They have a very unique look and feel to them. Uh, a lot of people use them for grip strength, so like they'll they'll have the handles cut off and called blob training, so you just grab the head of the dumbbell and try to work on your grip. There's a lot of cool history with York round heads, and it pains me to be selling at least all my heavier ones, because I will drop a video, a little overlay here, some B-roll, some B of the difference between the size of handle width from a 12 pounder or a 10 pounder to the handle they put on a fucking 90 pound dumbbell. Why is my 12 pounder handle thick and comfortable and contoured and it is pretty USA and my pre-USA stamped 80, uh, 85 pound dumbbells have a skinny little handle that just bites into you. And I know there's some people out there that are gonna say, you know what, stop being a pussy, so what? It's a skinny handle, it hurts your hands, boo hoo, just do the work. I thought you said you lifted. But lifting weights, lifting heavy weights is hard enough without like stupid crap that doesn't have any beneficial component to it. Like if my hands hurt, is that gonna make me stronger? If my hands hurt, is that, that gonna develop some sort of extra capacity for bench pressing more weight? No, it's not. It just hurts and it makes accessory work annoying. More annoying than it is already, which it already is annoying. Why make it worse? <sighs> You make it worse because roundheads look cool, I guess. 
But, so I have, I have a set of fat bells as well, and uh, they're basically like kettlebells with a, a handle inside of them, and they're cool, the, their handles are very comfortable, um, there's some thoughts on why they're better than standard dumbbells, who knows, but I like them. So I have a set of fat bells and I have like this set of round heads that I'm thinking that I was going to try to finish from like one pounders all the way to hundreds, even with the smalls that are a pain in the butt to get and super ridiculously overpriced. But I was switching back and forth on my upper body days between them to see like long run, am I going to keep my round heads and sell my fat bells or long run, am I going to keep my fat bells and sell my round heads was kind of the thought process I was going through because it's kind of hard to justify both. Um, so that's where I was at. After training with the round heads, the tiny little handle is horrible. It stinks. And while you're paying attention, I have affiliate links in the bottom. If you like Dan's story time and you like the reviews I give and want to support the channel, click through those affiliate links. If you're planning on buying any gym equipment, chances are I can make three cents on your hundred dollar purchase and I would greatly appreciate it. And it would allow me to buy more things that I hate that I'm going to sell later and I can review for it. A7 rigor mortis knee sleeves video coming next week. So, the other thing I do not love about my round head dumbbells, there are terms called loose heads. Now, I don't really have any with loose heads, but what that is, I have had some in the past, and I've sold them and bought other ones, is it rattles, right? So if you're benching a heavy dumbbell and you drop it, there's a chance you're gonna knock the head loose that attaches to the handle. That's kind of an issue, right? If it gets loose enough, things are gonna fall off. Also not very cool, right? So safety concern. But the thing that happens before that happens is the handles, because they're skinny little bitches, they bend. They bend a little bit. So with 10 minutes and like a two by four and a hundred pound plate, you can bang the shit out of them and get them straight again. Or you can mess up and make it even worse. But that's the solution. Or you can have a friend that has a shop press at a fabrication place and have them just squish it into place, which is so much more convenient. Um, but you shouldn't have to do that with your dumbbells. These aren't new bell adjustable dumbbells where if you drop them, it avoids some warranty and, and they're broken forever. These are just cast iron chunks of metal with a poor design, so the handle bends. And it's always the heavier ones, the ones that already are a pain in the ass and hurt you, and then you'll, you'll kick them up to press, and you'll be like, ooh, that one feels funny. Let me shift it around and roll it so the curve of the handle is correct. And some of them, you can't even tell it's curved with the naked eye, but as soon as you pick it up, you fucking feel it, and it's super annoying. I love my round head dumbbells. I love how they look. I love the history. But as someone who actively uses them for actual lifting, they suck. They just suck. I think the best use for round heads is turning them into blobs and getting rid of that damn handle. A solution I thought of would be to grind off all the handles. There's companies that make, you know, dumbbell handles, like knurled, nice handles, like a 32 millimeter or something, and weld all that shit on there. That's a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of work. I would just rather them work like they're supposed to work and not be horrible. And I'm going to spend that much time and that much money, I might as well just get a pair of good ones. Plus, the historian me hates the thought of taking the original handles off and throwing them away. That makes me very sad. So, I'm selling them, that's why I'm selling my round heads. And if you are a lifter and you're going to use them to lift and you're and you you want one set of dumbbells, they're not a good fit. If you love the vintage strength thing, you love the history of it, and you have two sets of dumbbells and you just want them to look pretty in the corner, they do an exemplary job. If you want a clout post in Facebook groups and home gym communities and vintage weights communities, you could do that. But like it is so much money to get a full set, it seems ridiculous to do that. Uh, but that's just me. I spent a lot of money on stupid shit, but I just, I can't get my head around keeping these things, 
and I can't get my head around just having a pair, a set of dumbbells just sitting there doing nothing. Those are my thoughts. Again, check the affiliate links in the bottom. Definitely like and subscribe. And dear Lord, please give me comments. I want to know your opinions. If you've had roundheads in the past, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm getting at. And if you think it's okay, you're either too weak to feel heavy enough dumbbells to be annoying in your hand, which is fine. You'll get stronger than you'll understand. Or you're just a dirty, dirty sack of crap liar, and we all know it. But fight me in the comments. I will be on there just biting back at you bastards. <laughs> it's been Dan. See you guys next week.